hello everyone welcome to this video today i'm going to show you how to install lunar vim so how to do that is just go to uh, lunar vim website going to open my browser which is cute browser and type lunar uh, vim i think that's the name yeah and go to this one lunarvim.org and you can see uh, lunar vim and we're going to this is how it looks uh, this is a new neo vim i would call it neo vim improved but it they're calling it an ide okay so let's go to the installation type on that and for this we need to have some dependencies installed you need uh, neovim 0.8.0 or more okay if i go in here and type uh, nvim dash p and it's going to give me the version of uh, neovim that is installed which is 0.8.3 that's more okay that's cool now that's uh, i have git installed you have to have these dependencies installed git and make and pip and uh, python of course node package manager and node and of course cargo uh, this is rust so now after installing the, the dependencies you just copy this link yeah i'm not doing that just hit this uh, copy thing copy and it's, it's in your clipboard just uh, uh, control shift v and paste everything and just hit enter it's going to say Detecting platform, uh, would you like to install Lunar Vim? No JS dependencies. Okay, yes, I would like to install that. Even though it's installed, it's just trying to make sure it's installed. And install 3-sitter CLI. So. okay let now let's uh, hit yes yeah python dependency yeah make sure that you have a uh, nerd font installed uh, for the icons and other stuff by the way i'm doing this on void linux so And hit yes for this one too it's just going to upgrade to uh, upgrade the pip now it's cloned in the repository if you have a uh, neo vim installed and have a configuration don't worry about uh, losing that configuration because uh, learner vim creates uh, a directory called lvim with uh, its own stuff in there so you don't have to back up uh, your nvim okay the installation is finished so just uh, a thank you for installing uh, lunar vim you can start by running uh, lunar vim lvim or this uh, path over here and don't forget to use a font with the glyphs and uh, icons okay uh, as, I, as i said before nerd fonts is great 
Okay, now let's type Elvim and yeah, it's not starting. So let's use the whole path my home and that local bin Elvin. You can uh, probably uh, alias that to something. Okay, as you can see, this is Lunar Vim. So it's still doing some stuff over here. Compiling three sitter, I think. Let's let it finish. Okay, it finished. So uh, you can find files uh, just doing leader f for new file. Okay, that's uh, let me just quit out of that. Uh, to do that is just colon q, q, and let me just do uh, alias this uh, path over here to Elvin. Okay, I'm going to do. And open my uh, bash RC. So I'm going to use uh, this path to open that bash RC. RC. Okay, it's going to automatically install the language server for this language. Okay, so I'm going to do over here alias and uh, slash home home and my username and uh, that local local and bin slash elvim alias that too and no I want to do that this is the alias I want to do so I want to do something like this let's call it elvim and equal that okay now let's quit and let me source my bash rc and now if i type elvim it's going to launch lunar vim okay that's cool and let me just open my dwm config and dwm yeah, DWM config that just so we can see. Uh, okay, it's using C lang here, the language server. So, and uh, that's it for this um, video. Uh,